I'm live, it says. <laughs> ah, well, that's good news. I'd hate to hook up to YouTube and have it go, you're dead. <laughs> ah, how we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Ah, got it. Ice? Nobody here yet? Build it. They will come. Oh boy. And then it falls down. And then everybody sees my closet full of clothes. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. We gotta fix this before people start coming in to visit. Uh, and then I want to stay with my back. Okay. My ginormous purple towel. Nobody yet. Oh my, that's scary. <laughs> that's scary. Everybody's asleep already. Everybody is asleep already. Huh. Put my ice in my cup. Ice. Mm. <sighs> so, I picked up Dennis. We went to Zippy's in Kailua and got the best parking spot. Couldn't figure out why I got the best parking spot. It was right in front of the door. Yeah, but it was. Oh, this feels good on mommy's owie finger. Uh oh, there goes a nice cube. Are you going to get it, Bachi? Get it, Bachi. Ah. Okay. This is a better red. I think this red is better. Share, mute microphone. I know that turns the thing around. No, that turns the thing around. Okay, we're four minutes in. should have brought that other water over here. I will survive. I will survive. Once I was afraid, I was petrified. Yes, I was, Elle. And we have our first customer. Step up to the counter. What can I do for you? <laughs> Welcome all. Who's here? 
What is this? NEX. Oh! They ran away. Okay. Be like that. Let's see if this is a better red. Russia. Russia. Not Russia, Russia. Okay. Well, guess I'm going to quit. Who wants to be here if nobody's been here? Hi, Lauren. I almost was going to shut it down because it's been almost six minutes. <sighs> Although I know most people are asleep already. Oh, it's been packed full of stuff. Where are you at, Lauren? I think I'm going to have to take either shorten my fingernails or take them off the acrylic. I just, oh, Australia, afternoon here. I just um, put my hand in my pocket a few minutes ago and I jammed my fingernail and oh, it hurt so bad. Then the vein, then the vein popped up real fast. And my husband thought it was hilarious because I was saying, I think I broke my vein. <laughs> he says, you can't break your vein. I said, well, my finger is numb. Yeah. So, is it's already, s no, it's coming on, it's Monday there, yeah? Oh, wait now. Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon in Australia. I only had the acrylics put on for our 45th anniversary this summer. And I was intending to take them off, but it was so nice to have nice nails. I like this pointy shape. I think they call it almond. Hmm. But see how long they are? Now my own nails has grown out a lot. I was thinking maybe we could take the acrylic off and just shape my own nail and then just put, put acrylic on top of my own nail. Yeah, it does. Makes you feel more feminine. Well, and I got, sh actually, my fingers are very square at the tip, and they're very uh, fat tip. I got really manly hands. I got that from my dad. I don't, I don't feel bad about it, because I love my dad, and he's on the other side now, so. But, uh, yeah, if I have the almond shape, and they're kind of on the long side like they are now. My fingers look longer and more feminine. Oh, we got an extra person in. Who might that be? So I picked up my husband from work and we went to go to the Zippy's Diner in Kailua to have dinner real quick. I got the best parking spot and I couldn't figure out why. And I no more got out of the car and there was a sign on the door saying that, uh, hi Bethany, saying that they were closed for unforeseenable, for, or un, what did he say the phrase was, um, circumstances beyond our control. So we jumped back in the car and we drove home to Kaneohe and we went to the zippies over there and they were open. So I had spaghetti with chili on top. Lauren, I mean, uh, Bethany, what time is it there where you're at? Did you really drink coffee just so you could stay awake? Oh, no, that was Janice that said she would do that. 
Okay, and I think it's 7.30 here. So you're four hours away from us. I think. Yeah. 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30. Thirty, so four hours. I've got to go, but sending love to you. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I was going to open this box, but maybe we won't. I was just waiting for a few more people. I got this box. I forgot I had ordered it. Love you. Have a good sleep, Lauren. Oh, you're in Australia. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> it's in the afternoon for her. Maybe this is what I'm smelling. I thought I smelled roses in my bedroom. But it's got to be something in here. If we get more people in here, then I'll do that opening the box. So. Bethany, how was your Saturday? What did you do fun? Thank you, Lauren. She had said congratulations. I was trying to think, what's she congratulating? Oh, it's the 45 years of marriage. <sighs> Anybody do anything fun? I think Bethany is falling to sleep. <laughs> YouTube isn't telling me you are on again. Huh, I've been having that problem a lot. Other people, other YouTubers are having the same issue. Hi, Tony. I think I'm up to about five foot six. Oh, there's always got to be a Weisenheimer around somewhere. <laughs> we just finished dinner I had spaghetti noodles with uh, chili on top and Dennis had uh, chili loco moco where they put the chili on top of rice and then put two over easy eggs on top and he eats it with toast so I'm thinking if we get a few more people in I'm gonna open this box that I got today it smells like roses something I ordered I forget what I ordered yeah I, I was on uh, live earlier today but I couldn't be on for very long because I had to go get Dennis so I was going to come back just so we could have a little more longer I think tomorrow I might put my box of color on my hair and try to get this part here that's dark try to bleach it out I got to in case in case the um, thing gets big again I got to do a booger check <laughs> Peter says do a booger check I don't think I have any boogers probably go get my bangs trimmed up this week too it's maintenance week. So what did you eat for supper, Bethany? Ah, 
It sure is easy to color it yourself once you get it short. It was like super easy. I got a box that has a slightly different color, more ash, so I think I'm going to like that. This is awfully goldy. I'll just keep putting them on and on and on until I get it white. I like it that platinum kind of toe-headed blonde. So today I got some of my bills paid. I paid the rent, I paid the phone. What else did I do? <laughs> Tony, you're funny. Well, I like it. Sh I like short hair now. But I think that's the uniform for old ladies, which is probably why I was avoiding doing it. <sighs> so I haven't seen Grace around. She should be on Oahu by now. Or soon. We're all so quiet. You crocheted, listen to YouTube, watch TV, listen to a conference, and listen to the music from a car show at the end of the street. And I went and weighed myself. Ooh. I was going to do that the other day and see when I go into the marine base I have to stop and wait in line and get my permit remade um, for the next two years. So that's going to take about a half an hour or so. When I was rushing the other day I knew I didn't have enough time to do that. But once I get that I'll be able to just go into the marine base zip zap like that. So. Then I can go to their fitness center and weigh myself. I got to do it. My friend Alberta, she's lost so much weight she had to put a belt on her jeans shorts because they were wanting to fall down. I said, well, just go and get yourself the next size smaller. And she said, no, because I'm not there yet. And um these will shrink when I wash them. You know how jeans shorts, when you first wash them, they're nice and snug, and then as you wear them, mine today were just practically falling off too. Not because I've lost weight, but because when you wear them, they stretch out. You, you think it, it could, you were expecting your weight to be worse? I think that's what's going to happen to me. In my head, I'm thinking I'm like 350. I might surprise myself and be like 330. I think I have to exfoliate my face. I got a patch of that red, flaky, dry skin there. I don't like skin that gets old. <laughs> I didn't know that until recently. It's really dry. And I put moisture two days ago. I put moisturize on. Two sixty one, I would love to be two sixty one. Okay, well 
that's a good jumping off point. You know, there's, there is one benefit of being really heavy. That is, when we first start to do something, it comes off really fast. We lose faster than your girls that only need to lose 10 pounds. Okay, so Tony... And that was today, which was 10, 6. Okay. We got to get our uh, healthy, healthy. I got to come up with a catchy name and start our channel for healthy. Healthy something or another. Because <laughs> you know what? Uh, who's... Oh, uh, Mitzi, she wants to come and hang out with us on the the other channel too, working for towards healthy stuff, because she wants to put weight on. But I don't want her to feel left out, so or anybody to feel left out for that matter. Not just Mitzi, but you know what I mean. I haven't had anybody else say, "Well, I want to come and hang out with you girls, but I really need to put weight on." You made a pork chop sandwich and had mac and cheese yesterday. It was a pizza day. I do not know when I start eating pizza again. I eat pizza once a week when I'm losing weight. But I go to Thin Crust. Or in this case, I might just go to back to my cauliflower crust. I like it a lot. I should show you guys how to do that. It doesn't taste like bread, but it also doesn't taste like cauliflower. Oh, tomorrow, I gotta remember. I should write a note to myself. I have to buy, buy all new herbs. Did you watch the ratatouille? The ratatouille one where I showed I had to throw out all those herbs because they were uh, beyond their expiration date. I know, but you know what? They're not going to taste as good as my homemade one, Tony. I saw those, but I thought, yeah, no, it's not going to taste as good as my homemade one. So, who was it that said they love acrylics? I think it maybe was Lauren. We got three people. Bethany, Auntie Vernon, and who else? Four people. So, who else? Five people. Awesome. Keep coming, keep coming. We'll get to open the box yet. I was hoping we'd have at least ten people before I start to open the box. Oh, you're still listening. Lauren, you were the one that said that you like um, acrylic nails, right? Have you ever taken yours off? I don't want to peel them off like I've done in the past. I think what I heard is that you can just soak them in polish remover. If you soak them a long time, will they dissolve and come come off? Usually when I wanted to change my nails from acrylic to something else, I would just let them you know, use their grinders, but it, I already have thin uh, nail beds to begin with, and I really don't relish the thought of them damaging them worse by grinding these things off. Yeah, Lauren, what are you cooking? Inquiring minds want to know. 
You remember that old commercial for the Inquirer? We got six people! Four more people and I'm opening a box. See my big box? It's slow, but best chicken wings and vegetables. Hardly any meat on a chicken wing, is there? Unless you got some really, really beefy chickens. <sighs> I should do, the, like, well, it's not a magazine. It's not a magazine video. This is what's for sale at the Pearl Harbor NEX. Military exchange. See, I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to see what I can, what I can't live without that I don't really need. Okay, here we have every every now and then they send us this. Take an additional 5, 10, 15, 25, or even 50% off. And then you have to pick when you go to um, when you go to check out at the cash register, they'll ask you which one of these do you pick? And then you point to one and they scratch it off and they and then you find out how much you get to save. They send that periodically to us. This is good October 4th through 10th. Darkness Falls Liquid Lip, Almost Cobalt, and Burgundy Nail Polish. Halloween is com coming. That is dark. I need to get busy. I'm going to put my order into Amazon, and it's going to have my white um, fancy apron that I can use with my a red dress so I can be Mrs. Santa at Christmas time. Should we see what they got on sale? We believe in savoring every moment. Turquoise, purple, burgundy, or cobalt. I like turquoise. New Wave Brio, three quart air fryer, $79.99. Ooh, new Hamilton Beach, three in one multi grill. Look at this multi grill. It's new by Hamilton Beach. $42.99. Speed it up, Instapot, Duo Mini, three quart pressure cooker. Oh, I should get this for Alberta for Christmas. Of course, I just said it out loud, so if she watches this video, it kind of spoils the surprise. <laughs> we got seven now. I like my Instapot. Three quarts would be just perfect for her, because a, a lot of times she's cooking just for herself. Crock-Pot six-quart express cooker. So Crock-Pot. Crock-Pot's getting on the, the thing. Cooks, bakes, and fries on one small unit. Mm. Not sure. I have to think about that. I, I have things that cooks and fries and bakes, but not cooks everything. I was thinking the hot air fryer. New Wave Precision Induction Cooktop. I love my induction. Never want to go back from induction. This one, this brand is 64. I had to struggle so hard. When they say the struggle is real, the struggle is really real. I saw on Home Shopping Network, Wolfgang Puck has an alternative to the big KitchenAid mixer, which I have one, but it's so heavy I can't even carry it into the kitchen from the baker's rack in the dining room. 
and it takes up so much space while his is lighter weight and it has more wattage yeah I wanted to get it in blue because I have an induction top a big one that's blue it would look so good but you know what Tony I had to be honest really oh we're down to four people I can never open this box if those people don't get their booties back in here Hola. Uh crock pot oh wow here's a sous vide <gasps> anybody cooked with a sous vide before this one is a hundred bucks I know Tony right only $29 a month that's how I got my home uh, my uh, hot air cooker though it was worth it. It was really worth it. What do we, they have new that I can't live without? I have the waffle maker. I have a cooker's. I have a French press. I have a coffee maker. I have an espresso. I have way too much. I'm a hoarder when it comes to appliances in the kitchen <sighs> okay see here they're advertising their big old KitchenAid I didn't buy mine somebody gave me my KitchenAid which is nice because they're expensive but mine's an old one but it works great it's just as, um, its motor is just as good as a brand new one. I have the meat grinder attachment. I love the meat grinder attachment. I made my own hamburger with steak and um, bacon. 50-50. It was so delicious. Look at this, $319.00. Wow. I don't see anything in here I'm dying to have. Now we're into the linens. You know the exchange. Oh, you bought a Dooney and Burke about five years ago, purple. It's a medium hobo. I rarely, if ever, use it. I bought a 20 year old Dooney at. A second-hand store that's about six by nine. Love it. Two hundred and thirteen versus fifteen dollars. Wow, you got a Dooney and Burke for fifteen. That's a bargain snapper. Okay, this is linens. There's a scale. Where's the description of the scale? They're not going to tell you. Why, oh why did they run away? We were up to seven people. I should have opened the box. Ah, oh, humbug. Okay, now we're into big appliances. So I'm just moving right along. Um, people think that the military exchange is so much cheaper, and it's not. If I was a regular size, I would never buy my clothes there because their clothes are more expensive than anywhere else. Ooh, makeup. Okay. Okay, now we're talking. Let me find us something, okay? New. Bio Miracle Pure. 24 karat gold collection. Gold and ginseng hydrogel mask. Wow. Outside the gate, $29. In the exchange, $23. Wow. Would you pay $23 even for a mask? Bare minerals. Uh, pro performance 
Wear Liquid Foundation, $29. Wow. Clinique and, oh, who's ever heard of Anastasia, Anastasia Norvina? Anastasia Norvina palette, $36. It looks like it's got a lot of, hi Janice. Did you drink your coffee? <laughs> I told my husband that you were going to drink coffee so you could stay awake. Oh, is this the one of Beverly Hills? Is her last name Nor Norvina? They're all sparkly. You did, you had Starbucks. Smashbox be legendary liquid metal liquid lipstick, I think. Liquid metal liquid. $20. Does anybody need a bargain? Here's some Clinique. New $24. Okay, be purified, clear improvement, gently detox, and deliciously nourishes. Now, maybe that's what I need for my patchy dry spots, huh? $27, or Origins, it's from Origins. Clear improvement, poor polishing scrub with active charcoal. Yikes, charcoal. The reason I say yikes, have you ever seen anybody apply one of those charcoal max, masks and then when they pull it off, every little hair is attached and they're going, ow, ow, ow. Oh, you know what? They now carry the number seven. Number seven. Number seven is really good stuff. $61. What do you get for $61? Uh, muted multivitamin infusion. Oh, that's from Murad. The uh, number seven, Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum. I need to go get some of that. That's $29. Uh, Restore and Renew Face. That's $29. Protect and Perfect. 21. What's your favorite uh, brand to clean your face with and moisturize and stuff? We got Gucci Perfume, Marc Jacobs, Calvin Klein, Carolina Herrera. Never heard of her. Prada. Ooh, Prada. Mary Kay Basics. Dermalogica. Dermalogica sounds very, like, scientific. Is it real expensive? Chloe Pouch. With purchase. Large size spray of the Chloe fragrance. $106 for 2.5 ounces. No, I think I don't need that cologne. <laughs> Your gift, then the men's fragrances. Dennis won't wear fragrances. His, it bothers his nose. We got 25% uh, off of L'Oreal and Alme. So that's pretty good. We got uh, Revlon and Maybelline. Then we're going into the hair stuff. Where is everyone? That's a good question. I know that Lauren is in Australia. And it's the late afternoon going into her evening. That's why she's cooking dinner. Okay. I'm looking for the pumpkin lip balm. 
I look everywhere. Hawaii doesn't get anything. Jimmy Choo. They don't put samples in here. Remember when you used to get flyers and it would have samples of the fragrances? Who's gonna... Who's going to... Hey, tell me, are any of you guys going to pay $350 for this blow dryer? Really? $350 for the blow dryer. My blow dryer costs $12. I use it four times a year, and it has my hair dry in like five minutes. That's ridiculous, just because of the name of Dyson. Ah, there's a gimmick born every five minutes. I see nothing that I need. Except maybe that stuff for my dry skin. Okay. Should we open the box anyhow? And then just because they weren't here. Oh, well. When you lived in a mobile home, I had one for putting the plastic on the windows. I used to drink. I mean, not like I was alcoholic. But I would every now and then. But, and I have, you know, I'd be, I'd be willing to have a cocktail. I just have no interest. Oh, I got a box in the mail. It's, um... I watch one of my favorite ladies is Beauty by Lisa Beauty 101 by Lisa. Look her up. Oh, the next video I do, I'll put a link in it, okay? Um so anyhow, um she was doing a review of their natural deodorants and her son was there and he was talking about his stinky armpits. And she was telling which fragrance she likes. This one company has real natural, where they don't have all that alum and all that stuff that is really bad for her. So, I went to order us some. And then I saw that they had a bunch of good stuff. Like um, natural toothpaste. And I can't even remember what I ordered. That's really bad, isn't it? It's really bad when you don't remember what you ordered. So it came today. I had forgotten all about it. So I have this big box. Let's open it. So, you know, the older I got, and a lot of people have told me that they just lost their interest in having cocktails too. It's like, who care? So I have myself a scissors. I came prepared. I can smell something in the box. But it smells nice. It smells... I thought it smells like roses. I get the crystal stick usually from the health store. It lasts about five years. It seems to work. I ran out finally and have not replaced it. Um, Tony, I can tell you about that crystal. It also comes in a liquid form that you can pump like this and spray it do this when you take your shower um, sit on the edge of your bed make sure your feet are dry spray the bottoms of your feet and then let them air dry for a few minutes before you get up and no more stinky feet at all true story I used to get that quite often but they stopped carrying it and I can't find it I guess I could look online. But now that I saw this stuff, we'll tr give this a try. So anyhow, um, Lisa gets like, an, she had an affiliate code for 30% off. And I felt a little guilty using that code and taking 30% off because as an affiliate, she gets um, a little bit of money from... Um, 
the stuff that sells under her. And um, she's trying to make a living because her husband just up and wanted a divorce out of a clear blue sky six months ago. So suddenly she's like hustling to make ends meet on her own. She's super awesome lady. She's real pretty. Some people think she looks like Selma Hayek. I think she looks even prettier than Selma Hayek. Okay, so here we have the invoice. Order date. Woo, you can smell it. Smells clean. If you can dream it, you can do it. Ten dollars $10 off of a $35 minimum enter code and then so you can get $35 for $25 okay then here we have daily perfection serum oil reduce fine lines and wrinkles brightens skin tone reduce redness oh reduce redness Improves tone and texture. I think I'm going to order me some of this. Everything's backwards. I've got to find the setting that when you're on live, lets you... Okay. So a lot of this is all natural. Like this has got... Uh, zero mineral oil, non-congesting, cannot and will not clog your pores, balances your sebum production, perfects skin tone and texture, utilizes the purest form of sea buckcorn. Anybody that studies, uh, not herbs, what is it? holistic stuff would know sea buckhorn probably and carrot seed oil utilizes undiluted pure organic rose oil huh Zion Health healing from the earth ancient clay body care and then there's all their soaps handmade soaps I think they're handmade Canwa clay with essential oils to revitalize your body. That's probably what I'm smelling. So it's got a little catalog for you to go through in case you like a hard version to flip through instead of just online like I did. I spent about an hour online. Look at all their goodies. Okay, so what do we got first? Let's see. And... Wow, they packaged it up real nicely. Look. It's like it's got blue paper. Very nicely packed. Okay. And like I said, it smelled in my room like um, I smelled roses. Okay, so this is just all packing paper. And here's all my stuff. Look at all my stuff I got. So let's go through this. Wow, I got a lot of stuff. Right? I did get a lot of stuff. I didn't even realize. Okay. Clay Bright Sensitive Mineral Toothpaste. Whitens your teeth. Supports gum health. Controls cavity, freshens breath, fluoride free, gluten free, flavor free, glycerin free, four ounces. It has um, Mont. Mont. Oh, this is a long word. Montmorillonite clay. Oh, I don't know. Nutrient rich clay. Ingredients, aha, aqua, purified water, hydrogenated silicate, calcium phosphate, K2, 
kaolin, clay, calcium, something big word, sodium menthol, coca, uh, big words, green tree, green tea extract, aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is going to be good for your gums. Xanthan gum and Nissen poly something something. Brush your teeth at least twice a day, preferably after each meal or as directed by a physician. Made in the USA. Go America! Okay. I w I'm just old enough to want to think that America makes stuff again. Because <laughs> when I was a child, so much stuff was made in America, right? Now it's hardly anything made in America. Oh, this is my toner. I forgot I had ordered a toner. Ancient Minerals Toner with Calendula. I like Calendula. Closes pores, preps your skin, and clarify from, for normal skin. Balance skin pH. So let me smell this and tell you how it smells. Oh, this is nice and light. Oh, my. Well, I don't have one of my cotton balls, but I've got some paper towel, and I can just take a wee little piece, fold it, and fold it, and make my own little pad. Smell. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, that feels really soothing. I like that. Oh, that's nice. See, my dry patches have come back. We'll see how these are tomorrow morning when I wake up, okay? See if that helped. Hi, new person that came in. We just opened a box. A box of, uh-oh. Dennis, are you still here? No, he's not. I dropped the lid. You know what I should do? I need to open this toothpaste too. So when you get your toothpaste from them, it's going to have one of those things on it. So let's pull that. I should go brush my teeth with it. <laughs> Since I just had supper, but I didn't brush my teeth yet for my nighttime. Okay. So let's see if we can see. I'll leave my lid alone. I don't like it. Ugh. I guess I'm spoiled by Sensodyne. Because it has no flavor. Remember I read to you? No flavor. Oh, Tony, it almost felt like it was foaming in there. Flavor free. I think flavor free is not good. How about if I mix half of this with half of my Sensodyne? We'll put them together. I'll have the best of both worlds. I think this is a pass if I was going to tell people. 
maybe I'm just not a nature girl. <laughs> but I do so far like their toner with the calendula in it and the green tea. What's next? Oh, Alozina, Alozin, Alozin, Ultimate Relief for active people. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have bought this because I'm not really active. <laughs> AIDS, muscle and joint, glucosamine, HCL, uh, Vism, and Arcan Arnica. Arnica. This is for, this contains well-known ingredients that are as effective uh, formulation that lends itself to fast, easy application. Arnica extract is the protected wildflower of Switzerland. I did not know that. Did you know that? The tincture is applied externally for skin problems. Boswellia extract is an all-natural standardized extract derived from Botswellian Serrat uh, rosin is a uh, traditional Ayurveda, Ayurvedic herb used in India for more than 3,000 years. Translation, it must smell pretty bad. <laughs> Menthol is a cooling ingredient derived from the oil of the peppermint plant. MSM is purified sulfur. Oh, great. It's believed to be a powerful anti-inflammatory, and studies have shown that MSM may reduce the symptoms of arthritis. Let's hope. It says spray a liberal uh, amount. It's tiny words, sorry. Um, plus, I have um, cataract on one eye, so... I need more light than what normal people do. Um, avoid eye and mucous membranes. If irritation develops, discontinue use. Keep this and away from preparation out of the reach of children. So I think you just spray it on. They don't really tell you. Directions. Spray a liberal, liberal amount. onto the area of discomfort as often as necessary. Oh, there you have it. So you just spray it on. Let's see if I can smell it. Hi, people. We're discovering new products together. This doesn't smell bad. So you know that foam, that TheraWorks foam that I, I showed you that comes out poofy, like in a foam. It, it resembles shaving foam when it pumps out. Um, that that keeps you from getting uh, muscle spasms because it's magnesium based. They're sneaking in and out. <laughs> um, this is like if you have pain from arthritis. So tomorrow when I wake up and I have a lot of pain in my hips, I will have Dennis spray it on my hips. And then I'll let you know. Okay, on with the show. This was a sample that I was able to buy for like a dollar, I think. Mineral moisture, daily lotion, orange vanilla. This is two ounces. Botanical herbs, enriching minerals, and shea butter. They have a lot of their samples for like $1 or $2. And it's got a little safety thing on it. 
but we're just going to bypass the safety thing and we're going to just open it like this. Oh, it does smell nice. We're going to put it on one of my owie spots, okay? See if we can make the owie go away. We'll see how it looks in the morning. This you supposedly can put on your body or your face. Let's find out. This one smells really good. I like this a lot. I like that a lot. And I think I paid $1 or $2. Let me look at the invoice to see. Thank you, Sunny, for choosing Adam Adama Minerals. Okay, so... I paid a dollar for this. Just a dollar. And it's got a lot of good stuff in it. Check out their website. You'll be able to read the ingredients. I think for a dollar, that was a good purchase. And then this... is Forest Rain Ancient Clay. This is a bath soap bar. This is, I don't think this smells like roses, but it smells good. 100% clay and vegetable based. Sure. Yeah, I'll put it on Chatterbox. So this is 100% clay and vegetable base. Ancient clay soap contains more than 57 trace minerals in pure form. Vegan, gluten-free, no animal testing, biodegradable and recyclable packaging. ZionHealth.com This is out of San Francisco, California. This is a 10.5 ounce bar and I paid before my discount of 30% off, the unit price for this was $7.99 before my discount of 30% off because of her code. And I can see, I can get her code for you too. But um, I will also link Lisa on Chatterbox. So you can go see Lisa. She's a wonderful lady. Um, okay, and that pain relief spray was the biggie. That was $14.99. But if it works, I guarantee you I'd gladly pay $14.99. Because when I wake up in the morning, holy moly, that arthritis has settled in. If any of you have struggled with arthritis, you know what I'm talking about when you... You've been in bed for maybe five to six hours and it just settles into those joints. Hi, people that have popped in. Okay. We got another thing of paper. Now, what is this? Free gift. Boy, what's up with all these free gifts today? First, I had that uh, extra pair of earrings, which was probably worth six bucks or so. Can you believe I was paying for these really nice earrings? Really nice. I mean, they're nice. You can't tell it here, but there's kind of a purplish up at the top, and then it goes into a peachy color and then more pinky, and that's all the sky, the sky colors. And then you got your Eiffel Tower. Six bucks for these earrings that's amazing you know if they were selling them at the mall it would have been 22 hi Kyla okay so free gift let's find out what they gave me for free I thought I had bought something else that was a sample for like a buck or two let me look here I had the lotion vanilla then I also had calming cream sample Oh, excusez-moi. Hello. So one of these is called a calming cream, and it's a dollar sample. And then one is a mango mask, 
and it was a dollar. Wow, bargain, 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 bargain. So let's see first before we look at those two, what they gave me for free. We always like free. Somebody left again. Shame on them. Okay. Clay Bright Natural Toothpaste. Oh, free samples of that wonderful toothpaste. Free samples to give out to people. Well, let me know if you want a sample. <laughs> okay. Hi, Kayla. You're watching scary movies. Kayla. Kayla, listen to me. When the movie gets really scary, you go, go like this and just peek between the fingers. And then it won't get you. That's what you got to do, Kayla. I got some sort of lip balm. I bet it's not pumpkin pie. Adama Minerals Hydrating Lip Balm. Ew. Rosemary Mint. I'm... I'm not even going to open this. Who likes Roseberry? Oh, hi, Lauren's mom. I'm so happy to meet you. What's her first name? Janice, you want this, honey? Send me your, your um, address in my email. I'll stick it in the mail for you. I'll, make, I'll send you some of the toothpaste, too. It's wonderful stuff. Ancient clay, ancient clay, uh, natural soap, blue sky. This smells really good. I made my dad stay back up back in 80 or 81 so I could watch Halloween. Janice, are you Lauren's mom? No, wait. You're not, right? <laughs> what is your mom's first name, Lauren? Oh, Vicky, Vicky. Where did she say it was Vicky? Lauren, I'm lost. Somebody said Vicky, and I'm not seeing where you told us that it was Vicky. Anyhow, Lauren, is your mom's name Vicky? Not this Lauren, Lauren from the other night. Oh. Well, Lauren Warburton just said that her mom's here with us. Free gift. My leg is starting to ache me. It's one, one hour and eight minutes. Somebody want the, this smell? I'm going to write this down. I'm going to forget it. Oh, 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 oh. Because I got that ginormous bar of soap. It's going to take me a long time. Hold everything. Oh, phooey. What have I done now? I'm such a flibberty gibbet. Okay. We'll just get one from here. Lauren, is your mom older than me or younger than me? I'm 64. I'm going to be 65 in February. Please, Mr. Man it that's supposed to keep this. Okay. Who's getting the rosemary lip balm? This is rosemary and mint, and I'm not going to even break the safety seal. I can smell... Mostly mint, but I don't like rosemary flavor. 
So I said I was going to send it to... Oh! 64! My same age! Woohoo! We rock, Vicky! We rock! Okay, so the lip balm is going to we had first dibs called by whom now was it <laughs> I'm zooming right past it Janice the lip balm goes to Janice. She's the winner. Okay. Vicki, you're all the way in um, Australia. If I send you guys something, I don't know how to do that in Australia. Um, who Who's claiming the ancient clay natural soap called Blue Sky? First person that says me gets it. It's a small one, but you get to know if you like it or not. It smells nice and clean. Doesn't smell really strong. It smells very pleasant. I think you'll like it. Anybody? Who's taking who's taking the the soap? Blue sky. Clay soap handmade. Mm, smells nice and fresh. Kayla, you're gonna get it. Okay, small soap goes to Kayla. Kayla, you know my email address, right? Send me in your email, send me your mailing address, Blue Sky. Kayla. Blue Sky. Okay, let me look at these other things that I got. This is fun. I'll have to order more samples next time. I should have ordered a, a ton of them. Oh, these were free gifts. That's right. I would I would give somebody this, but no, that's going to be mine. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so glad I drank coffee. Yay! Now, Janice, once you use the lip balm, you're going to have to give us a report if it was yummy or if it was yucky. Okay, what have we got here? We've got here calming cream, relief for rashes. This cost a dollar. Look at how nice this would fit in your purse. Right? Am I right? It's nice. And it's a calming cream for rashes or bug bites or anything not not a smell no not a smell um, I don't really have a rash but I don't want to put it in that same spot because we're testing out the moisture I'll just put it over here on my age spot Vicki do you have any age spots on your face like I do look it's a big brown thumbprint practically like God put his thumb on my face this has got a nice feel to it. Very light. No smell. If I had a rash, I would like this on it. Maybe even a bug bite. For a buck, one ounce fits nicely in your purse. Hey, can't go wrong. This one is I'm not going to actually put it on. 
because this is a face mask. So we'll put it on another night. Maybe I'll put it on for a pajama party. Oh, like I'm... See, I think you're really here with me in the room. I was going to go like this and make you smell it. <laughs> and no, I did not have a cocktail. It looks really thick. See? It ain't going anywhere. It's really thick. There. There. KFC McPung. Oh, hi, Adam. Who's saying good night? I thought Adam just came in. <laughs> I've been busy. That's why I didn't have any time to answer your message. Because when I came home, I had to put my legs up and then I started processing. This is really thick. I will do a swatch for you. See, that's the face mask. I would assume you put it on and leave it on for a while and then wash it off. I'd better go to their website and read on that. Hey, Adam, you would have put hot sauce on it. <laughs> it was burning my mouth out. Oh, my God. So, yeah. We'll have to try this, and then I'll give you a report on that. But hey, for a dollar to try, that's not bad. So, the main attraction to this show, other than this pain relief spray, which I got to check out for you guys. Vicki, do you get arthritis pains? I get really terrible in my hips at nighttime when I sleep, and it's so intense that it radiates around to the front of my pelvis and it just hurts so bad until I've walked around a little bit and taken some um, Tylenol. Now this is aluminum free. This is extra strength protection. Now she was saying that they have some that are called satin. If you go on their website and you're looking the ones that are called satin, see this one, okay, oh holy moly, oh my, oh my god, this is so good, I can't wait, oh I gotta go take a shower, <laughs> oh my lord, you want some of this, guarantee you want some of this. Okay, the bold ones. And it's kind of gritty. It's got it's got clay, okay? So it's a little bit on the gritty side. Like she says, when you put it on your underarm, it'll have a little bit of a drag to it. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not kidding you. This is the original, the original fragrance, original bold. And I think on their website it said citrusy smells. She does her feet and hands the same thing. Oh, with arthritis? Oh, 234. Oh, do you, do you get to stay home tomorrow, Adam? I'm sorry it's so late, honey. Everyone take a shot of hot sauce and go to bed. Ha! Ah! Sorry you hurt. Oh, Sunny, um, I'm not hurting right now, but in the morning I will. But that's when we're going to try this new spray stuff and see if I can avoid taking Tylenol with my breakfast. Because you spray it on and it's Arnica and some other stuff. Hi, Mitzi! Rapid gel. It's used on horses, but it helps my hands and feet. No, I'd be kind of scared if it's good enough for horses that weigh four times even what I weigh. It might overdose me. <laughs> oh my goodness, this bold smell. I thought it would be for my husband, 
but I might have to sneak some of this. This smells so good. Now this satin one, I, ha I was starting to tell you, if you look at their deodorants, oh, I, I so would love you to smell this. You don't work tomorrow, but have to play drums at church. Woo! That sounds like fun. I want to go to my friend's church. They meet on Friday nights. Well, they they go on Sundays too, but her and her hubby and baby goes uh, at Friday nights. Okay, so this is the one I thought it would be good for Dennis. But um, it's kind of unisex. If I took a shot of hot sauce, I wouldn't get any sleep. I'd be up all night visiting the throne. Ha! Huh? You have fun at church, Adam. My sister swears by some of the horse liniments. Animal bag balm is good for cracked hands and feet. I don't get cracked hands and feet. Um, no, Mitzi, don't do it. Don't. <laughs> Mitzi, later, watch my mukbang. You'll feel so sad for me. <laughs> okay, I really mean it this time. <laughs> Adam says, I really mean it. I really mean it this time, you guys. I'm serious. I'm not fooling with you. I'm leaving you. I am walking out this door. <laughs> we love you, Adam. Mwah. Have fun tomorrow morning. Okay, so let's smell the, the one that I bought for me. This is Citrus Blossom, and I thought I would like it because she said it smells kind of like grapefruit, and I love the smell of grapefruit. As a matter of fact, I buy the Soft Soap Body Wash that's pomegranate. Next time you're in the store, look at the Soft Soap Body Wash that says pomegranate and smell it guarantee you it's going to smell like grapefruit and I love the smell of grapefruit so this is also a bold solid citrus extra strength protection uh, no propylene glycol no alum no and ve it's vegan extra strength protection so let's find out Nothing in here really smelled like roses. Oh, this smells nice. This is much lighter than that other one. And you can see there's not as much orange in the... You know what? This smells ever so slightly like there might be a hint of eucalyptus oil in it. Just minor, minor. I have to say that even though this is nice, I like this one the best. The original. Yeah. This is really light. I don't smell grapefruit. Yeah, I'm not really crazy about this as compared. I think it's because I fell in love with that other stuff first. I think if I had... Here, let me put some on here. Hmm. And these were... I'll look at the price on these. It's pleasant. It's pleasant. Um, there's somewhat of a citrus smell. Oh, I know. It's supposed. This is the one that's supposed to smell like uh, t oranges and tangerines. That's what it is. This is supposed to smell like oranges and tangerines. Maybe I'll make Dennis use it. <laughs> Unless somebody wants to claim it, even though I did like this on my skin. I don't have cooties, guarantee. I'm kind of a germaphobe, so. Now, I can't find the right way to make it go back down. I'm, I'm doing the screw, screw, screw thing. And 
I can't seem to make it go back down. Pushed it with my finger. So these, these cost where is my thingy? Oh, it's hiding under here. The deodorants cost $7.99 each. So the natural uh, the citrus blossom the citrus blossom is a real faint slightly what is that? It's kind of like a foresty smell. I think it's just a hint just ever so tiny of eucalyptus. Oh, you got to go, Tony. Okay. Oh, wow. Pear and aloe deodorant. Okay, so this one is lighter and it smells with maybe just a hint of eucalyptus and tangerines and orange, but very mild. Love you, Tony. Have a good sleep. Oh, Mitzi, you got to smell this one. This one, as soon as I opened it. Oh, this is the one that smells like grapefruit. I love the smell of grapefruit. This is my favorite. Okay. So that's that. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Mitzi, uh, what brand is pear and aloe and where do we buy it? Looking forward to this ginormous forest rain. I think that's going to smell so good. Let's open it up. You guys have hung in there with me all night long. You deserve to open it up. I like the smell of fruit. Okay, so, wow. Look at that. Very clean. It's like a brick. Minerals. Wow. You can see where they cut it. It is huge, Janice. Well, it says Adama. There's an A on the end. <laughs> yeah, because I have yet to find the setting that works on live feeds. Now, I don't touch the settings whatsoever, but if I turn this off and then did a video where I recorded it for you and I was showing this, automatically you would see it the right way. Go figure. So I'm going to try this when I go take my shower in a few minutes. Okay? And I'll let you know. Well, I got a lot of homework, don't I? Because I have to put links up on the chatterbox for this company for lisa and uh give you the code oh shoot my toner fell over oh no half of my bottle of toner fell over it's all over my tray table oh no look at it sopped down a hole oh no my bad. See, I'm like a five-year-old. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun with my friends. It's just oblivious to everything else that's going on around me. Oh, my God. Toner over here. Ay, ay, ay. 
pardon me for a moment. I'll try to evacuate this area. Maybe I can... Oh my lord! It's on my scissors! Baby shark, chunk, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> Mommy shark, do 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 do. Okay. Trash, trash, trash. Well, that's too bad. How much did I pay for that toner? Do you guys remember? Whatever it was, I wasted half of it. The bottle is only to here now. Ha <laughs> ha! I paid $14.99 for the toner? Please be wrong. $10.99. So I just poured $5 worth of toner all over my tray table. I mean, there's worse things, right? Keep it all in perspective. Nobody died here. Okay, so the two winners are Janice, who gets the lip balm. And no, the toner did not get on your lip balm, honey. I don't think. Let me double check, triple check. I think I had already put it in the box when this accident happened. Nope. Didn't get in your lip balm. And then this is going to Kayla. And it's all dry. It didn't get in the toner. Okay. Well, <laughs> Has everybody had fun tonight? And I still can't interest anybody in this toothpaste sample. Shock, shock. How about a whole tube of flavorless toothpaste? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pH, ba pH balance is really good right now. The tray table's pH balance is awesome. Ah. Oh boy, I just got a little headache right back here when that happened. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm okay. No takers for the flavorless toothpaste with um, aloe vera gel in it, right? I should have thought that one out because I've tasted aloe vera gel. That's not very yummy. <laughs> okay, well, live and learn, right? You don't know what you don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> ah. So, that's the box. I don't even want to look at the total that what I paid for this. No, but I'm looking forward to seeing in the morning how this did. So, tomorrow I'm going to go and see if I can find somebody who wants natural toothpaste samples. No, I'm just joking. Um, tomorrow I'm going to go and find some pink sponge curlers to put in my hair for the pajama party. Once we figure out what the date is and what the time is, I might approach Peter and see if he would pop in. It's kind of an imposition to ask him, but I'm thinking he, it might just seem crazy enough that he might want to come in maybe just for five minutes to say hi. You think he would? Yeah, Mitzi, you were you weren't here for for me trying the. I put a little bit on my finger and put it in my mouth. It was oh, it was nasty. So I think I'm gonna mix half of it with my 
Sensodyne toothpaste that's got mint that I like. Of course, that totally negates the fl no fluoride and the no this and the no that, but hit Alex up, and I bet he'd do it. He might. I, I have you. Um, do you, does he put anything up on his YouTube? Does Alex put videos up? I never go over there. I have to sippy sippy. Sorry. I guess I could put my hair in rollers, put on some pajamas, put a mask on my face, and um, do a picture and tell them they're invited. That's cool. Peter's very good at answering me, too, on Twitter. Usually, I get an answer right away. He's really... Johnny on the spot was like, kind of freaked me out. I was like, whoa. Thought I'd have to wait for a few hours to hear from him. He must have had nothing to do. What's next? Oh, I should have brought the board over. Well, also tomorrow I need to dig back here in the closet. How many bags do I have? Maybe six or eight different bags. Yes, six or eight. Now, they're not all presents for you guys for when we're doing boxing and stuff. A lot of it is. But it's kind of intermingled with like I bought my daughter. You see this purple ba uh, bath towel? It is super ginormous. I can use it for a blankie at nighttime if I'm cold. It's that big. It's like a throw size. Well, she's into purple, so I bought her one of these, and I have to send that to Washington State. And, yeah, so I have, I'm kind of, I stockpile all kinds of stuff that I need to send away to people's. And then I've got about six of my purses back there. I was thinking, I don't know if YouTube lets you sell stuff on YouTube. Does anybody know? Raise your hand if you know. <laughs> I know. Even as big as I am, Mitzi, I can wrap it around me two times. And it's nice and thick. Does YouTube let you sell things on your uh, thing? I was thinking if I gathered up, I must have, I don't know, 20 purses, maybe 25 purses, and they're all very nice. They're like Coach and uh, Michael Kors and Brahman and a few Dooney, a couple Vera Bradley. I got a ton of them. And I probably, you know, eBay is kind of a humbug. Because you don't know. Here's the thing, Janice. Um, I was selling a few things a few years back. And I was buying a few things a few years back. And I came, just listening to people, I found out that, like, some people can really scam you. They, you can, um, even have the tracking number you can have that it's tracked to their house that it was put on, left on the porch or something like that and they can still claim they didn't get it and you have to give them your money back ebay makes you give them the money back yeah so i figured i don't know if all my people that are my friends that i know that i'm constantly in my life here if they liked a purse and I had put a really low price on it and you paid the shipping and paid me the super low price but I don't know if YouTube would get mad for you doing that you some of you guys would really love some of my purses I'm sure 
I love them too, but you know what? I'm getting to the point where I need to minimalize. And I've got like crazy amounts of them. I, I You know what, what's going to happen? I'm going to start selling some of them. And like a month later, I'll be wearing an outfit and I'll go, you know what? Where is that one purse? That would go perfect with this outfit. And then Dennis will have to be, don't you remember? That's one of the ones you sold. Guarantee that's going to happen. You haven't had that yet? You sell a lot of stuff on, on eBay, Janice? I need somebody to... Oh, my Lord. <sighs> Not putting the lid on my... Co this lid that goes on my water container, this thingy. I was low, low. That's crazy for crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's Hawaiian word for crazy. I was low, low, and I put it over there where the toner was on the paper towel. Ah, now I have to wash it up. So, okay, so it was a thought. Janice, you buy a lot of stuff. Well, I think when you buy a lot of stuff, you're pretty good because the sellers want to keep their high rating, right? And you pay them, and they ship it, and they give you a tracking number. So, yeah, they because they want to keep their high rating, they actually send it to you. They're very good about it. But I think if you're on the other end, there are some people that are less than honest that say, oh, I never got it. I never got it. I need a refund because I never got that. Oh, well, we show that it was left at your house. Well, I didn't get it. And then some of the buyers were telling, I heard some of the buyers, I mean, sellers talking amongst themselves years ago on, um, there was a, like a social media thing. Well, that's good, Janice. I have like five or six Hummels. Does anybody know what a Hummel is? These are super, super nice. Some of them are super old. One was my mom got me for my birthday that um, it was made the year I was born. They have been kept in bubble wrap. Yeah, the figurines from Germany. They've been kept in bubble wrap in packages all tight 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 nothing could get near them we don't smoke we don't have cats nothing got into them so they're still really really super good like they were when I got them I was intending to put them on a glass shelf that had, you could see through but I never put them out and as we're getting ready to retire it would behoove me to sell them because I probably have a good, I'm guessing $800 to $1,000 that I could get for them. Total over all of them. Maybe more. My mom was really into Hummel. She had like 85. And I think my sister got all of those. My sister got everything, so. Which was fine. Um, so yeah but my mom was really into it that's why I got some because I was trying to um, work on our, our relationship and I wanted to have something in common with her so that never really worked it wasn't enough so anyhow yeah they're very, very nice. But to be honest, I need to find them a home that would love them, would display them in a, a really good place where they're kept safe from. Yeah. Well, every family has their black sheep and 
I just got uh, nominated. That's okay. So, you know, it used to uh, mentally beat me up. And then I kind of conquered that. And um, once I accepted myself and forgave myself, and I forgave everybody else that didn't, it's a long story that is sad, like, yeah. And I'm sure from the other side now, she feels really different too. Because they said, um, when you cross over, right, then part of your transition is experiencing everything from other people's perspective. So, yeah. It's okay. I'm all good. Oh, thank you, Janice. Yeah, my husband was in his family, too. More or less. More from his mother. None of the other people treated him like that. I'm not saying that, you know, his mom and my mom didn't love us. It's just, it was just really different. <laughs> so anyhow, um, yeah, so I need to sell those Hummels and I need to sell a lot of my purses. If I whittled it down to just like five purses that I keep, I think that if I move, it won't be so hard to move with five instead of 30, right? <laughs> so, I have all sizes. Big, little, medium. So once I sell my purses and my Hummels, I'll be just rolling in the dough. <laughs> but every little bit helps when you go to retire, right? So that's why I don't have a car loan, because we took our IRA out, which wasn't all that much after the crash, what, six years ago or so, and because uh, our stock plummeted. And boy, if I had kept it now, we'd be flying high, wouldn't we? But things were looking pretty bleak these last few years. Um, and uh, I don't know what you're doing, Bachi, but you better not be getting yourself in any trouble. Um, and yeah, so... Um, so we took out the IRA, what little bit was there, and I bought my car cash money. And it was only one year old. It was um, the only reason it was pre-owned was because the dealership was using it as a loaner for when people needed work on their Nissans and um, they would let loan it out while the people left their cars overnight. So it only had like 6,000 miles. It was one year old. I still got the full warranty. <clears throat> so I like it a lot. It runs great. And it's nice having a like, like new car with no car payment and no um, interest. So now it's like gathering money up because the IRA is not there. We're gonna be so screwed anyhow. <laughs> Good thing we know how to trust God. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Because um, they say that to retire comfortably. This is all the economic um, experts that each person should have at least a minimum of 200,000, just bare minimum, 200,000 stashed away for each person at the beginning of their retirement. <laughs> How many people do that? I don't think too many. Unless, it, like, in the military, if your husband was, like, an officer, like, my mom and dad, they had maxed out, they had savings account in, like, six or seven banks. My mom was a penny pincher, 
and she had maxed out the, you know, the FDIC amount that's um, guaranteed coverable in case of an emergency. She had maxed out on six banks. She had saved that much. So they were, they were, they were well off. No, Monopoly money does not count, unfortunately. Yeah, Janice, we are basically all screwed. We're going to all be living off the... I don't know what we're going to be living off of. Tuna fish, I guess. I'm not going to worry about it. Today's got enough worries on its own. And furthermore, you know what they say... Don't worry, because it's not going to change anything. And also, that shows that you're not trusting your higher power. So, just let it go. I have to say, even though we blew $5 worth of toner, it smells really nice in here. <laughs> it smells really good. I like this toner. This is the Calendula Closed Pores Prep Skin Clarify. Okay, apparently I'll be ordering some more. <laughs> I probably should let you guys go to bed, huh? We're coming up on two hours. Bachi is threatening her mother with this low growling that she does. She's such a bossy, bossy baby. Oh, no. But I don't know where my lid went to. That's the first thing I'll do when I get up. Oh, I see it. I see it. She doesn't have it. Uh, no, the toner stayed. I have like a little um, table here next to me. And um, that's where I had put like all this packing paper and those magazines. I was showing you what was on sale at the, at the military exchange. So I have this little table, and that's where it fell over. And the little table has like a, a raised edge. It's about raised by about half an inch. So it's, it all stayed in the table. But I will definitely need to wipe the table off before anything gets left on there. What a strange adventure. <laughs> huh. So I never did make the carrot cake. Guess the carrot cake is on the agenda. I got to go to the commissary tomorrow for sure. If I do that early enough in the morning and get back, maybe I'll do the carrot cake. I hope the stuff I put soothes my... I'm really bothered when my face does that. If you saw me in person... It's like a red tint, and then it looks like really dry skin right there. My husband gets it too. And I would say it's contagious, but it's like my face is not near to his face, so. I know, I probably shouldn't. But my hands are washed. I washed my hands three times in this last hour before I came on. I need to leave it alone. It's like one of those things when you're telling your, oh my God, I got to tell you this story about my daughter. Shh, she's not in here, so she doesn't know. I'm going to tell this story on my daughter. <laughs> oh, Kayla, I got to let you go then. I'll tell the story another time then. Did the people from here that were coming to Hawaii ever get there? Grace should be here. She was going first to either Maui or Kauai. I couldn't remember. I think it's Maui. And she was going to be there for like five days, I think. And then she was coming to Oahu. And she was going to be on Oahu for 11 days. She never emailed me for my phone number. 
So she has no way to call me. And I haven't got any email from her saying, hey, I'm here. That's kind of weird. Yeah, Janice? Yeah. She was so excited. We were going to get together. We were going to have like lunch or a coffee or something. Maybe I scared her off. Maybe she overheard one time when I was saying that maybe I could sweet talk her into um, coming on camera with me and um, and doing like um, a collab in my car. Maybe I scared her away by saying that. But I was just playing. If she didn't want to do it, I wouldn't have pressured her. I was going to offer the opportunity, but if she didn't want to, I wasn't going to pressure. She, you know what, Janice? It could be something just as simple. Although I have to agree with you, people can be strange. I had two people from my high school days that came over and they said, we're going to get together. We're going to get together. Definitely, if nothing else, just to have coffee at Starbucks. I haven't seen them in 30 years, right? All excited, exchanged phone numbers, and then they didn't, I would text them, no answer. And then the next thing I know, they're in the mainland and saying, oh, sorry, but we just got so busy and blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that was strange. I know, Mitzi. So it could be something simple, like Grace is so busy, or she just got to Oahu and she needs to settle down first, and then she was going to email me, because 11 days, she's got 11 days in Oahu, so it's not like it's a life or death thing to do it in the next two days, but yeah, I don't know, or maybe she's with a traveling partner that wants her full attention. You never know. You know, sometimes when I'm not uh, making videos frequently or doing lives, sometimes it's not because Dennis has said, oh, please don't do that. But he's behaved in such a way that I kind of sort of felt like he really was enjoying having some attention and time with me. And so I just kind of let it be that I gave him some time. Because um, this is all kind of new to him, too, to share me with other people. So, because he had me all to himself all this time. Uh-oh. <laughs> Almost knocked over the tripod. So, yeah. So, it could be something simple like, you know, she's got a traveling partner. And and um, they said, oh, honey, can't we just in relax and enjoy this just for us? And, you know, it's okay. It's all cool. There's somebody coming in November. Can't remember which one the, is that. I should have written them down when I first heard about all of this a month ago. Um, so somebody's coming in November. Somebody's coming in December. I think the one that's supposed to come in in December is Mel, I think. But I think Mel just moved. And I don't know if she's got the money to come over after doing a move. Would you? I'd be strapped. So, and then somebody's coming in January. Who's coming in January? Can't remember. Yeah, we'll find out who all these people are. I should put it on Chatterbox. If you're coming to Oahu, what is the date that you're coming? So, yeah, because... Um, the people that have come over, like my friend Ginger came over, and I drove her and her her man friend around um, one day. And I kind of know all the local places that's good to go and see and experience and stuff. So, yeah, I did that for them. And then uh, one other couple, who was that? Oh, 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 my niece, Renee, from Ohio, Ren Renee and her husband, yeah, I took them around for a day. We had good fun. We had good fun. So, it is what it is. I I have physical, you know, I kind of sluggish too, so 
uh, and I can only walk around or ride around so uh, so much before it starts to be a little bit too much for me too. So I'm not worried about it because maybe why it's happening is because what they would want to do was be too physically challenging for me or something. I don't know. But the universe knows, right? My angels know. So it's all cool. Anyhow, today we got some names memorized earlier today. Heel Gothic is Lisa. Tijuana Mama is Karina. Rasha is living in Saudi Arabia. She was born and raised there. And Alien She is Taylor Ann. Okay. So, it's late where you're at. You need to go to bed. Janice, do you think that the coffee has worn off and you can go to sleep? I used to be able to drink coffee and go right down to bed and go to sleep anyhow. Oh, did I tell? Oh, you're buzzing. Okay, I'll take the time to tell you about Sharon. Did anybody pop in to check on Sharon? I did. So Sharon's test results were she has some more of her ulcers, and they have told her absolutely no caffeine anymore, point blank. And they gave her a diet to follow strictly, and... They took two or three biopsies. So say a little prayer for her. And um, what else? What else? What else did they see when they... She was knocked out for that endosco endoscopy. They put it down your... Look down in your throat, right? Yeah, she's a nice lady. And she's going through such struggles right now. And, oh my goodness, her... Mom's dog was outside with the other dogs, and she thought that they had all come in, and they hide under her mom's bed, and she looked under there, and she saw eyes, and she thought all the dogs were in, and come to find out, one of the older dogs of her mom's got left outside, and it was barking, but she couldn't hear it, and now it's got laryngitis because it tried to bark to get in the house all night long. So since Sharon is an honest person, when her mom came home the next day, she fessed up and told her all about it. And now her mom's real mad at her. I know. You know, everybody goes, isn't, haven't you noticed life is like this, right? Up and down and up and down. Right now she's kind of in a down mode and she's such a nice, nice, sweet lady. I just love her. Oh, and get this, her ex-husband's brother died in a car, uh, motorcycle accident. Oh, and that two-month-old baby that was rushed to the hospital the other day, which was the baby to one, Savannah's friend, she had a bladder infection. It wasn't her liver or her kidneys shutting out. She had 105 fever and she had a bladder infection. So the latest that I've heard is they were still at the hospital, which I was glad to hear that because that baby's temp needs to come down. The other baby that passed away at one month old, that was um, the mom, was also friends with Savannah. Savannah doesn't know what happened with that baby, but I'm guessing SIDS, right? That first few months is just so, so delicate. Yeah. Boy, it just really makes you feel lucky, right? <laughs> when we think we got issues in our lives. And then you hear somebody else. I haven't... Wait, somebody said that they went to see... Oh, that was yesterday in our lives. Somebody was saying they went to the new movie about uh, Star is Born. I haven't seen a new movie in, in like years. I, I've lost the caring about it. 
<laughs> is that terrible or what? Oh, Janice, you went to see the Stars Born? I try to get my husband on occasion to go over. Our um, theater has nice new seats where the um, where the legs come up like a recliner. And the seats are wider this way. And I think it would be really comfortable to go to. But we just haven't found anything we want to go to. So. What's, what's up? What's, what is the movies that are good to go to? I like something funny or uh, like a romantic comedy, something that's lighthearted. So you leave the, um, you leave the movie theater happy. Bohemian Rhapsody. Is that about um, Freddie, Freddie Mercury? Eddie Mercury, the guy from Queen. That would be sad, though, yeah? Venom. What is perv? So you can perv at Tom Hardy? What does that mean? Venom. It must be about snakes. Not for me. <laughs> Check him out. Oh, Tom Hardy is an actor. And he's, he's a cutie patootie. I must try and sleep now. Okay, Janice. No, it's uh, not about snakes. Well, good night, Janice. I'm going to go to bed to um, stretch my legs out. I'm not going to go sleep. He's a British actor, and I'm in love with him. I will look him up. Thanks for sharing time tonight. Tell Dennis thanks for sharing. Uh, he's fine. He's watching his TV downstairs. He, a lot a lot of the time he likes me out of my uh, out of his hair because if I'm down there watching TV with him I'll kind of try to talk every now and then and that's like kind of bothersome to him <laughs> so I'm gonna need to stand up and move my legs and Mitzi it is um, what about six or seven o'clock there <laughs> Janice, right? That's why I said if we get a new house, he's going to have his bedroom on one side. I'm going to have my bedroom on the other side. <laughs> okay, let, mm, kisses to you too. Yeah, you can imagine, at, since you know what 31 years is like, imagine 45. 8.30 p.m. Sunday night. Okay, I'm going to go stretch my legs out so that my varicose veins aren't cramping up on me. And you go enjoy the rest of your evening with your honey buns, Mitzi. And thanks for dropping in. Love you. We supposedly have four people, so I'm only talking to two. I don't know who the lurkers are. It could be um, Lauren, because she was leaving the the um, thing on, even though she wasn't talking, she was listening. So that could be one of them. Oh, there went Janice. We're down to three now. Okay, Mitzi, I'm going to say goodnight, hon. Mm -hmm. Love you. I got a busy day ahead of me tomorrow, so I'm going to get some rest. Have a good night. Get a good sleep. Have some sweet dreams. Okay, nighty-night. Bye-bye.